Welcome back to Cooking with Lesbians, a cooking show for lesbians with a lesbian. I'm your host, Elisa, or whatever other gay name you can think of. For this episode of Cooking with Lesbians, we're making Macassi pancakes, blueberry pancakes. Wondering who Macassi is? They're the two characters from Almost Adults, the new movie from the Gay Women Channel. It's about two girls who fall in love. Wait, they don't? They don't? Why the fuck would I watch it? Here's what you'll need for blueberry pancakes. Blueberries that are past their expiration date. Blanc oeufs, that's French. Magic baking powder from the 1960s. Magic because it's actually cocaine. A lifetime serving of table salt. 100% pure maple syrup, eh? Get it? Cause we're fucking Canadian, you fucking douchebags. Unbleached, all purpose, fair and two usage non blanche flour. Whatever the fuck that means. Whatever little bit of butter you have left in your house. Milk in a bag. A diabetic amount of sugar. Start by putting all of the dry ingredients into the bowl. Dry like Cassie's vagina, since her and her boyfriend just broke up, so she's not gonna be using that hoo-ha for a little bit. $50,000 worth of cocaine. Yo, what the fuck is in this? It looks like pubic hair. Mix all the ingredients together, just like your mixed feelings about this movie. Like, seriously, why aren't they gonna get together? I'm just about to microwave the butter so it's melted. Are you so fucking nosy? Like a best friend, you should always have a spare. And in true Mackenzie fashion, let's scissor. That took a while, probably because she's a newbie. Pour the rest of the shit into a separate bowl. Oh fuck! What came first, the lesbian or the egg? Trick question, lesbians always come first. Okay, mix all the ingredients together. Yum. Like a million fucking steps. Just buy the one straight out the box. What is this fancy shit? Who are we fooling? For all you Mackenzies out there, this is how you finger a girl. If you're wondering how many people this recipe will feed, it will roughly feed mm, eight to 10 Cassies or one Mackenzie. Throw in some blueberries. Use those softball forearms and just throw them in. This one has a stem on it. Pick it off. We don't like phallic objects in our pancakes. This is the only fruit I'll eat all week. Okay, can we get an insert of this new fancy ass kitchen, which I like to call the gay man kitchen, because it's too fancy for us lesbians? Check this shit out. The fuck is that? Now that the pancake batter has been mixed, we're gonna cook the shit out of this. Use the biggest fucking pan you can get. Place the pan on the stove and heat it up as hot as your straight best friend. Mine's a 10. Why is she cuddling me in bed though? That's like mixed signals. Make sure you grease the pan, according to my straight best friend. Lubricant is very important. While you're waiting for the pancakes to cook so you can flip them, think about all of the great perks there are about having a straight best friend. None. I remember when I was a young Mackenzie and I had my first crush. I mean, she wasn't a super tall, hot, blonde soccer player. She was kind of a frumpy, middle-aged soccer mom. But I mean, it's the same thing, right? <laughs> sure, these are Macassi pancakes, but I mean, these pancakes are great for all occasions. Telling your straight best friend that you love them. Eating them after your straight best friend tells you they don't love you. Coming out to your straight best friend. Making up after a fight. These pancakes are also a great way to trick your best friend into making them do whatever the fuck it is you want them to do. Like going shopping. Ew. Come watch me flip these pancakes, like my desperate attempt to flip my straight best friend. Oh fuck. No, don't worry about it guys, just flip it. Okay. It's okay if they're messy, friendships are always messy. Plate your fucked up pancakes. Finally, drizzle those pancakes with some Macassi love. Thank you to Elisa for supporting Almost Adults. I hope you like these shitty pancakes. Like if you like Macassi. Leave a comment with what you'd like me to make next. And subscribe for more cooking with Latvia. Bon appetit. 
For today's episode, we're gonna be cooking She Hasn't Slept With Me Yet Bolognese. If you've been dating a girl for a while, and by a while I mean like a year plus, and she hasn't slept with you, there's probably something wrong with you. 